What's up guys, it's Cartman Productions back with another video, and Happy Thanksgiving everyone. It's one of my favorite holidays. I'm thankful for all of you who are subscribed and watch my videos. Today I have a Thanksgiving special video for you guys. It's going to be Pilgrims vs. Turkeys. Now the Pilgrims obviously want to eat the turkeys because turkeys are delicious. Why wouldn't you want to eat turkeys? But the turkeys don't want to be eaten, so... This is kind of a dilemma. So they're just going to play a game of football and whoever wins gets their way. I'm going to be playing as the Pilgrims because I love turkey. It's one of my favorite foods. But here are the Pilgrims. We have William Bradford. Okay, I accidentally forgot to put the A in his name. But it's William Birdford. So he was like the only Pilgrim I knew. So he's going to be the quarterback. He was their governor in their Plymouth colony or whatever. The rest are just random people because I didn't know any other names for pilgrims it's a pretty solid team three three star offense three star defense this team should be able to beat the turkeys but we are going to turn it on extreme so that this is going to be a bit of a challenge for us here we are here are the pilgrims with our nice fancy uniforms little gold buckle on our hat or whatever and the turkeys obviously a majestic beautiful bird and you already know, we're going to play as the meatball. It's Thanksgiving. We have to play with the meat at Thanksgiving. Pause. All right, here we go. First play of the game. Are Pilgrims good at football? That's what we're going to be finding out today. It's a pass. Are you kidding me? Our first play is an interception. Oh my goodness. That, that was terrible. And the turkeys are going to score. Come on, they're birds. How are we getting beaten by birds? Uh... We got the deep route. It's, okay, we're not probably not going to get there. We'll take the short first down. Pass complete 17 yards to Ertz. Nice play. All right, we got Ertz on the deep. Uh, no, take off. William Bradford. Let's go. Get a big run. Eight yards. Let's go. Third and short. Uh, we'll hit the tight end. Make the catch. Let's go. Seven yards. We are driving. All right, we got Ertz deep. Uh, we got the tight end. Nope. Um, we take the sack. All right. Third and 12. We got two deep shots. Uh, I think Ertz is going to be the better one here. Actually, it's our tight end who dives for it. I mean, we got the first down, so we'll take it. Second and two. I guess we'll run it here. Just need two yards. We got three. All right, Ertz is going deep again here. Can we hit Ertz? He dropped it. He has no catching. He can He can run. He cannot catch, though. Uh, we'll do a quick dump off to our tight end. He's lots of strength. Break the tackle six yards. Third down at the four. The tight end is going to be open here. Touchdown. The Pilgrims score. Tight end. He spikes the meatball. Let's go. Oh, we're going for two. We can't let the turkeys be winning. And we got it. We're up eight to seven on the turkeys. They're going for it on fourth down. It's a pass. And we let it up. They didn't get the two though, so we're only down by five. 44 seconds. Oh, we got the deep man here. No, 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 no. <laughs> no Are you no, kidding no, me? No. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to be down by 11 at halftime. He has three interceptions in the first half. And the turkeys get the ball. And of course, it's a fumble. All right, we have a chance at this game. Uh, we'll, we'll take Ertz here. Ertz has been pretty good today. Uh, he'll get 16. We need to get a very good drive here, and our defense needs to start playing well. All right, all right, tight end. All right, tight end. 12 yards. Come on. All right, this is a good defensive formation. We'll get it to our best player, 7 yards. Batson's been really quiet today, though. All right, we got the wide open tight end. Oh, he died. He was wide open. We got some open people here. Running back, that was actually kind of dangerous throw. It's extreme, so that player could have jumped and gotten the interception. No, 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 no. Yeah. Yes, yes, Ertz! What a catch! No way. I gotta see that replay. That is one of the best catches I have seen. That should have been interception, but he caught it. He juked him out on the sideline. That was just a work of art right there. We gotta get the two, though, and he got it. We're down by three. We need a stop on defense desperately. And of course, we're not going to get one because we're on extreme. We are down by 10 with a minute 46 left. This is not looking good. We have to score as fast as we can here. So we're, we're going to have to take chances. We'll go down to Ertz. No way. 
No way. No. That, that's not even a fumble. That's a drop. He didn't make a football move. He, he didn't take two steps. How are we getting demolished by birds? This is not fair. We got to take chances here. Make the catch. Guys, I don't, I, I don't normally play Rattro Bowl like this. It's just a terrible quarterback. There's no way I would lose to birds by 24 points. That, that's, that's just not me. The tight end is going to be wide Okay, he's not wide open, but he makes the catch, makes the man miss. We have a chance. We have 20 seconds. We're down only 24. We can easily come back. All right, come on, Batson. 18 yards. We'll call a timeout. We got Batson deep. Make the catch. Let's go. One second left. We need this touchdown. All right, Batson, make this catch, please. Oh my goodness, that was the worst game ever. Bradford had four interceptions. Four. Three and one half. That is unacceptable. I mean, I guess I guess these guys did okay, but oh my goodness, that was the worst game I have ever seen a quarterback do under head coach Cartman Productions. That is just shameful. Uh, sorry, you might be an American icon, but uh, yeah, I'm def I'm definitely getting rid of him. Well, I guess the turkeys get to run free this Thanksgiving. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like, subscribe, comment what you're thankful for down below, and I'll see you guys in the next video.